Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I have a book haul for you as you might have already guessed from the title. The reason being that I recently did a video on some books that were on my wish list and I never should have done that video because I was so inspired to actually read these books and own them so that I just had to give myself a boost and I had to go online and order some of the books which means that I actually have 13 titles to show you today and as I said in my April reading vlog I've kind of given up on counting my unread books on my shelves and just reading those books because I need a boost as I was saying and this book haul is going to be my boost. I feel inspired to read now because I have some new books waiting for me and you know this feeling, it feels amazing. As I said, I have 13 titles to talk about and let me just start with the book I have already read and that is The Crane Stance by Mick Harry which is a book about two sisters who are ballet dancers, professional ballet dancers in New York. However, one of the sisters has turned kind of insane and she has to go back home to their parents and then the other sister is left behind in New York continuing being a professional dancer and of course she has some problems herself as well. It's a beautifully written story, this is not a wrap up but I did talk about it in my April reading blog and I did give it 5 out of 5 stars, that's how good it was. Let's continue with the two books I'm currently reading, the first one being this one. I don't know if you can actually see the title, I think it's possible. The Trouble with Goats and Sheep by Joanna Cannon and I believe this is her debut novel. So this one is a coming of age story slash a murder crime story meaning that it's about these two best friends who are about 10 years old, 11 years old and on their road where they live someone has gone missing and so it's about this person who is missing, the girls are trying to find her and we also get to hear about the neighborhood and the other persons who live there because apparently they have a secret surrounding this missing person. As I said, I'm currently reading it. I have about one third left of it and I love it. I mean, I still have to see where it's going, but so far I like where things are are going. Next book I am currently reading is of course The Unseen World by Liz Moore and I say of course because this was one of the books that were on the top of my wish list so of course I had to get it and I immediately started reading it and this one is about Ada who is a 14 year old girl, 13 year old girl and she lives alone with a father who has some troubles remembering things. They are so connected. Her father is her only person in the world who really matters to her. So of course it's frightening to her when she realizes that her father starts forgetting things, very important things. I won't give away too much but I am loving it and once again I only have about, well I have less left of this one, I have about 50 pages left and I can't wait to get back to it and actually finish it. So this haul contains some pretty gorgeous hardbacks, the next one being Lincoln in the Bardo by George Saunders. I have been recommended this book so many times. It is a pretty recent release and to begin with I was skeptical as to whether this would be a book for me because it is kind of historical fiction since it is based on Lincoln and his life. But as far as I've heard, it's amazing, it's a masterpiece and I can't really tell you too much about the actual plot other than it's about Lincoln and as I said, it's supposed to be amazing and also it's so gorgeous. I have to show you the inside papers which look like marble, I love that. And just in general, a really really pretty book. That goes for the next hardback as well, which is The Lonely Hearts Hotel by Heather O'Neill. So this one is about two orphans, a boy and a girl. It's got some magic in it, but it's also a heartbreaking story as far as I've been told. This is not for the faint-hearted. It's very brutal. I believe I read somewhere that in the first chapter we actually encounter a girl being raped, which is not very pleasant to read about, but I'm still intrigued because I've heard amazing things about it. I believe it was nominated for the Women's 
daily price if I'm not mistaken and also people have said that it kind of resembles the world of the night circus let me just find it the night circus by Erin Morgenstern but don't quote me on that I might be wrong about that but I'm still very intrigued to read it and as I said it's a gorgeous book with a gorgeous spine and we all love those amazing books I think. I'm going to continue with the beautiful hardbacks. Next we have Stay With Me by Ayubami Adebayo which is another book that was nominated for the Bailey's Women Prize. Is that what it's called? The Women's Prize for Fiction. Bailey's Women's Prize for Fiction. Whatever it says there. No it was long listed it says. Anyway so this one is the one that's about, well, it takes place in Nigeria and obviously I love reading books that take place in other places of the world from where I live. So I would love to read about Nigeria. I actually, the reason why I'm not really getting into the plot is because I can't remember it at the moment, but I am sure it's going to be amazing. Once again, I've heard great things about it. And this is the thing about book hauls, you buy some books that you've read about but you've forgotten about them again. So I can't really get too much into the plot. But I still am very excited to own it and to pick it up eventually. Then we have a young adult book which caught my attention and that is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. This one deals with racism and I've heard that it's got some pretty important battles in it, some pretty important themes in it and I was intrigued to read it and I also really like the cover. I have a thing for stylish white covers. I think they look gorgeous and I really really wanted to read this one. This one is about Star Carter and maybe it's about her troubles in life, something like that. I don't need to know anymore because I want to read it and find out for myself but yeah here we have it. And then one of the most gorgeous hardbacks that I have in this haul is The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden, which is a book of fairy tales, I believe. It's based on Russian fairy tales, if I'm not mistaken. And I believe it's a complete story that's about the same characters, but maybe it has references to various Russian fairy tales. I don't know yet, I will find out, but I mean look at this gorgeous cover. I really really appreciate a beautiful book and hopefully it will be just as beautiful on the inside. Now I'm going to move ahead to some paperbacks. The first one being Dragon Springs Road by Janie Chang. Now I have previously read another book by this author which I will find for you right now. Some years ago I read this one Three Souls and I adored it so I knew I had to read more by Janie Chang and then I found out that she had published this one and of course I had to read it. It takes place in Asia, I'm not sure which country and also I'm not sure about the actual plot but Super stunning book and I am so fascinated with Asia. I love reading about that part of the world and the same goes for the one that took place in Nigeria. I just love reading books that take me to other parts of our globe and this will be one of those books I believe. I also have a book here that will take me to Brooklyn and I mentioned in my wishlist video that I have a thing for books that take place in Brooklyn. I love reading about that spot on the earth. So here we have another Brooklyn by Jacqueline Woodson. I am sure that a lot of you will have heard of this one because it is quite talked about and it's about I think some families who live in Brooklyn. Maybe it's a coming of age story or maybe it's not. I don't know. I will find out but I am so excited to get to read about my favorite place at least in the state of New York again. I have three books left, the next one being one of Mercedes' favorite books, at least according to her, when I heard about it and when I heard that it was one of her favorite books, I immediately had to get it and that is How Green Was My Valley by Richard Levelin, which is a book about nostalgia. I think it's about this man that we get to follow. He works in the mines and he works in South Wales. And it's about nostalgia. I keep repeating myself, but that's all I know. I hadn't heard about this previously to watching Mercedes' video, but 
as I said once I heard about it and that it's about nostalgia I kind of got hooked and here we have it so this is going to be an interesting one and this is the modern classics version in case you're wondering second to last book is this beauty do not say we have nothing by Madeline Teen which you must have heard about I think well I can't be sure obviously but it's been a super hype. A lot of people are reading it or have already read it. I believe it was, yes, it was shortlisted for the Man Booker Prize last year. This one is about, I think, a father who commits suicide for the case of something happening in China and some kind of revolution taking place over there. I hope I don't sound like it's not interesting to me because it is so interesting. I'm just a little bit vague about the actual plot line. So once again, all I can tell you is that I have it here and I will find out eventually what it's actually about. I've heard amazing things about it and also it comes in this gorgeous paperback edition with the inside flaps, which I appreciate and it's just a really nice handy edition. And that brings me to the very last book in my haul and that is Under the Trees, no, Under the Udala Trees by Chinello Okparanda. Ok and this one takes place where I have forgotten, but maybe it takes place in Africa, I think it does, some country in Africa. Once again, it's a book I've heard phenomenal things about. It's a heartbreaking story, I believe, which I have now forgotten. This is getting embarrassing. But it's one of those books that keep appearing and reappearing whenever I see people talk about their favorites of last year or this year. I read the synopsis and I knew I had to read it myself. So I got it and I am pumped to read it. And yeah, that's all I had to say. And that is it for my book haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I am so excited to dive into all of these titles in the upcoming months and I look forward to actually being able to tell you what the books are about. Thank you so much for watching and until my next video, happy reading!